guys and welcome back to my channel. This week's bonus video is a revamp of my Pisces look from a couple of months ago and it is also my entry into the 2017 NYX Face Awards. As always, all of my social media and the music used will be listed in the description. And with all of that said, let's get into the tutorial. So I'm starting off by making all of the prosthetics. I already had the mouth sculpted on one of my life casts and then I just stippled mask latex over the sculpt. If you'd like to see how I sculpt prosthetics, I'll link to one of my sculpting videos in a card. This method of prosthetic making is very easy as it doesn't require any mold making, but the final product won't be very smooth or detailed, so just keep that in mind if you use this technique. I used mask latex for the prosthetic, but I avoided the edges. Mask latex is a thicker formulation of latex, so you can do less layers of latex and it will still hold its form. You can use a hair dryer to speed up the drying process of each layer. To strengthen the prosthetic, I incorporated a few layers of tissues into the latex. When using this technique, you need to let each layer of latex dry before adding the next layer or else only the top layer will dry and you will have a goopy mess underneath. For the edges, I stippled a few layers of theatrical latex over them since it's a thinner formulation of latex, the edges will be easier to blend into your skin. Once the prosthetic was fully dry, I powdered it, then peeled it off the sculpt. You need to powder latex or else it can stick to itself and you'll have a very hard time peeling it back apart. Once the prosthetic was done, I trimmed the inside of the mouth and the edges. For the fins, I drew my fin shape onto a piece of plastic so I could flip it to do the opposite fin when the first fin was done. I started with clear theatrical latex so the ends of the fins would be a bit translucent. I used a sponge and swiping motions to apply the latex so the latex would build up in some areas and create the little ridges that fins have. I built up a few layers of theatrical latex, then I switched to mask latex and added a few layers to the top half of the fin so it would be more opaque there. Once I was happy with the thickness, I powdered it and peeled it off the template, and later I attached some wire to the back of each fin so I could pose them. Then I flipped the template over and repeated the process to create the other fin. For the dorsal fin, I sketched out the shape with pencil then used the same swiping motions to start applying latex. And I used mask latex for this fin since I wanted it to be very sturdy. I also stippled out a little sheet of latex fortified with tissue which I used to make the little whiskers. Once I had a few layers of latex on the fin, I put a bunch of little pieces of wire following the ridges in the fin so it would stand up. Then I brushed latex over top of the wire to seal it in. While the fin was drying, I powdered my sheet of latex, peeled it up, and cut it in half.
Then I put tissue on half of the piece, placed a wire on top of the tissue, and rolled it up to make each whisker. Then they were ready to attach to the main prosthetic with a bit of adhesive. Then I peeled up the dorsal fin. Now for the makeup, but hold on, gotta engage full potato mode. I'll link to that tutorial in a card, and as always, I'm rocking a tube top. I apply the prosthetic with prosthetic adhesive, making sure to firmly press down all of the edges. And I apply all of the fins with prosthetic adhesive as well. And I pose the whiskers so they have a nice little curve to them. I use thickened prosthetic adhesive to conceal the edges and I blend it out with 99% isopropyl alcohol, but you can also conceal prosthetic edges with a bit of latex. I used my Pisces makeup as a guide to map out the pattern since I really liked the overall placement of the pattern I did. I use a lip liner to map out the pattern because I like to have an idea of color placement before I start, and the body paint will easily cover up the light color of the lip liner. Once the pattern is all mapped out, I fill in all of the orange sections with body paint. Then I fill in all of the excess area with white body paint. When body painting, you want to apply your lighter colors first, then move on to the dark colors because it's easy to cover up any mistakes you make with the light colors with your darker colors after. I also paint the whiskers white and I apply a thin wash of white to the fins for a bit of texture. Last, I fill in all of the black areas with body paint. Now for the scale texture. So I wouldn't have to struggle and fight to stretch out the fishnet with one hand. I made a little frame out of skewers and attached a piece of fishnet to it so I could just press my little stencil wherever I wanted to apply texture. I use red eyeshadow on a sponge to lay down the initial texture on the orange areas. Then I sponge on a shimmery red eyeshadow to lay down even more texture and to start to give those areas that nice shimmery wet look that fish have. And as you can see, this sponging process can get a bit messy. For an even more shimmery look on the scales, I pat gold eyeshadow over top the orange areas. I pat silver eyeshadow on top of the black area so they will also have a nice shimmer to them. I use a fan brush and orange body paint to add a bit of color and texture to one fin and the dorsal fin. And I use black body paint to add the same look to the other fin. Since the sponging of the scale texture left a bit of residue on the white areas, I use a small brush to clean up the edges of the white section. Now for the eyes. I map out an exaggerated cut crease with eyeliner. Then I use a very light brown eyeshadow as a transition shade along the cut crease. 
I use a pencil brush to apply black to the cut crease and I blend it out using swiping and circular motions. Take your time with this because you want there to be a smooth transition between colors. I also smoke out the outer half of my lower lash line with black eyeshadow. I use black eyeshadow on a small flat brush to sharpen the cut crease back up. I pat gold eyeshadow all over my lids. I went with gold to bring out the gold in the scales. I use a darker gold on the outer corners to add a bit of dimension to the lids. To further sharpen the cut crease back up, I apply a bit of black body paint along it. I use orange body paint to add an exaggerated inner corner. I use the shimmery red eyeshadow from earlier to blend the orange into the black along my lower lash line. I apply a very thin line of black body paint to my new inner corner. Last, I apply a bit of orange body paint right along the edge of the cut crease. Thank you so much for watching this revamp tutorial. If you like this look, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to make sure you don't miss a single video from me in the future, hit that subscribe button. If you'd like to see the pictures of this look, head on over to my Instagram to check them out. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will see you on Tuesday. Bye, guys. Congratulations, you have made it to my end screen. Click that top link to check out my last video, or click that bottom link to check out a video that YouTube's robots think you'll like. And if you want to make sure you don't miss a single video from me in the future, click that little circle with my face in it to subscribe.